hey there welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see how we can create an application using llm to create kind of recommendation system where we are going to add some of the queries or some of the text and based on that text it will kind of return us some four to five uh, similar products name okay or their context right so this will be the agenda for this video and uh, I have this data set uh, which I have downloaded from Kaggle website okay if you need then I will send that uh, website link to you okay please uh, let me know in the comment section so here uh, I have this kind of data set right uh, so I have product name in this then category then uh, at actual price and other things also I have a description and uh, yeah I also have some review title and other image link and all right so here um, we are going to deal with some of the particular columns only right uh, so we are going to use product name and also we can use this category and also we can use this description right uh, so based on this we are going to uh, like predict the output of the given text okay using uh, large language model capability okay so here uh, this first uh, code line which is only for to you know kind of uh, like uh, expand the width of the cell right so let's say if I'm not doing that then this will not show uh, this Jupyter notebook cell in whole width right so that's why I have added this so if I'll run this with shift enter then uh, it is it is uh, it is kind of running right in a running state and as you can see it got uh, successfully ran right so now uh, this is for it and now uh, we'll start with our code so here first thing we need to do is we need to read the data from that csv file so as i mentioned that we are going to use this csv file right and uh, here we have uh, just taken the csv file with this pandas right so if you don't install this pandas and numpy then I, I you need to install it with pip package manager so you have to say pip install numpy and pandas so i'm hoping that you have already uh, numpy and pandas installed in your system right so if i'll do shift enter then as you can see that we have our data frame right so this is our data frame which has this kind of uh, uh, columns right and their respective values so this is our data frame, right? So now uh, we can do a lot of pre-processing on our data. So if you have, if you have some kind of null values or some uh, uh, unbalanced data set, then you can do some kind of data processing. But for now, uh, what I'll do, I'll just uh, take the columns, which is product name, category, and about product, and I'll just uh, add the simple function for pre-processing the text. So what I'm doing, I'm just uh, actually making the text to lower case. Okay, so if I run this, then uh, it will run right. And then here, as you can see that uh, in every column, so by this df of product name, you can uh, target that particular column and you can apply some functions. So here I'm applying pre-process underscore, underscore text. So this will be the function. And for every this three columns, we are applying that function and here uh, we are creating a combined text column with this three uh, like column concatenation okay so if i run this with shift enter then as you can see uh, with in our last column let me go there and as you can see then there is one column which is combined text right so here we have the concatenation of these three uh, columns from our this uh, amazon.cfp data set right so this is our product name category and about product so this is the uh, concatenation of that right so why this is important because based on this kind of uh, product name and that description right we are going to create an embedding so I'll, I'll tell you what is embedding and then based on those embedding we are kind of do uh, like uh, similarity search for our input question embedding uh, on this uh, data embeddings okay so that will be the agenda so here if i'll go below then if i'll 
show you this so what it is doing it is actually only taking the required or a uh, necessary columns so as i mentioned that we only need product name category about and combined text for our use case right so we are only uh, dealing with this if i'll show you then we only have now four columns in our data set so as you can see right so this is our data data frame right we have product name category about and combined text right so this is our uh, targeted uh, this is a uh, kind of our uh, required column right and uh, if i go below then this is the main thing so we can use sentence transformer uh, for multiple use case so first it is saying sentence transformer can be used to embed sentences into vector space this is useful for such as a task such as a task text classification or semantic uh, similarity where sentences need to be compared so uh, let's say if you want to do some kind of text classification right so at that time you can use sentence transformer and also uh, it can be used to compute the similarity between two sentences so this is useful task uh, such as information retrieval where you need to find a document similar to a given query right so let's say if you are building a kind of a retrieval system from the pdf uh, like similar uh, if you if you are like passing a query and if you want to extract some information from the pdf document at that time you can use this sentence transformers to do the same task right so there are also multiple use cases of using this so it can be also used for semantic search so this is useful when uh, like if you have such tasks like question answering where you must find document uh, containing answer to the given question right and also there is a fourth application of this which is like kind of cluster uh, documents so if you want to cluster some uh, like documents on the particular uh, classifier uh, classification topic then you can do that so like it uses uh, like it it, uh, it is useful for tasks such as topic modeling or document classification where you know where you need to group documents by topic or a category right so it it uh, it can be used in this multiple use cases right so uh, whatever use cases uh, we need to find some kind of uh, similar uh, uh, sentences right to make some kind of recommendation or uh, to uh, output some kind of similar uh, products right so this is our use case so here we are going to use this sentence transformer right so i, I will request you to take this uh, screenshot of this application uh, of this sentence transformer it will be useful when you are going to you know kind of use this uh, sentence transformer right so then here in this cell uh, to use sentence transformer you need to install this uh, with pip install sentence transformer okay so it will take some time and after you install then you can run this uh, command okay so uh, this is first you need to uh, like import sentence transformer okay after like this is the model which we are going to use so there can be uh, multiple models which we can use okay so if you'll go in the website of sentence transformer uh, like then you can find some different models so here we are using but base nli min tokens for our use case so here we have already created the model so if i'll do shift enter then uh, it will get uh, created right so our model will get created then what we will do now uh, we are going to uh, in a very crucial step which is uh, creating the embedding so for every uh, text of our combined text uh, column actually we are going to do some kind of uh, encodings so embeddings is kind of thing where we are actually converting uh, words or sentences into some numerical representation right so that's why we do embeddings in natural language processing or machine learning right so here uh, if i'll show you my uh, column so this is our column right and after we are going to create one new column where we are going to create embeddings of this uh, particular uh, field okay particular field values right so it it will take time right because like to create an embedding of 
every row it will take some time so if i'll do shift enter then it will take some time and i'll get back to you when it will get complete so we have our embeddings uh, contained data frame so if i'll show you then for our combined text we have our embeddings right this is the embeddings which we are going to use for doing similarity search for our input query or input text right so let me go below so make sure uh, like when you are dealing with large amount of data set then do store that uh, embeddings related data frame to some uh, csv file or some vector database so you don't need to you know do step uh, this step to encode every text right again and again it will take more more amount of time so you have to uh, make sure to store that at any place right so to store that uh, data frame into csv file you can do this right and then you can just load the uh, provided or uh, generated csv file right so i'll just not do that right now because i already have df and i'll use that df only right uh, so here if i'll go below then this is the definition of cosine similarity so it is kind of metric uh, used to measure the similarity of two vectors okay so if we have one text then it will kind of find a similar uh, represent uh, vector representation of some particular uh, string right and it will give us that uh, nearest string for uh, our input uh, vector okay so if i'll go below then this is the function which we are going to use for uh, generating a top five uh, similar results for our input uh, text which is here combined input right so here if i'll go below then this is the input text which we are going to pass so for this query uh, uh, this input search we are going to call this get similar items function here we are passing uh, the input text and also we are going to pass the data frame so it will call this function and it will take the required arguments right so first thing we which we required uh, to <coughs> make our text into some particular text to uh, number representation right so we do encoding for our input text as well and we store into some variable and then uh, for our input text embedding actually we compare that embedding to our uh, embedding column right uh, so with this pi torch cos sign function uh, we can do that so for that you have to import this util class from this library so then it will give some kind of similar similar score uh, for our input text right so here if i'll do uh, if i'll do uncomment this line and uh, then uh, i'll show you what it will print right and then what we are doing for our uh, similar score which we got we are actually uh, fetch the uh, indices of top five similar items okay the, this is the thing which we are doing uh, i will also print that so i'll just do uncomment and also we'll retrieve the similar item from our actual data frame right and we'll print that okay so we are uh, uh, only taking the product name category and about product from our result okay uh, so here uh, i'll just print that data set uh, okay so here if i'll do shift enter okay so as you can see that uh, we got this thing right so we got this thing right uh, at the end we got our data frame uh, which is this similar items right so this is the five products five similar products which we got for our input text and also there is some uh, let me do uh, this okay and uh, this is the uh, text which we got from our input data frame right this is kind of similar text for our uh, query so this is the similar result which we have printed right so this is the similar indices which we have printed and uh, above if i'll show then here this is the similarity okay similarities which have printed here so uh, you can print and you can see the results right and uh, i'll just uh, do uncomment this print statements okay 
and uh, here I'll just do shift enter and uh, as you can see now we are uh, only getting the data frame which we require right and uh, here if I'll go below if you want to see this in a very uh, textual format then if I'll do shift enter then as you can see for our input uh, text we have printed all the uh, similar products details uh, so we are just uh, worrying about product name in the output so we have only added the product name so for this uh, input product actually we are printing the similar five products right you can uh, print any number of products if you uh, need right I just uh, want five products similar products so I just printed five uh, you can increase the size of K here to get more amount of uh, similar products okay so uh, I hope like you understood let's try with another um, like example from our data set right so now uh, from our data set let's say I want a micro USB cable right so I'll just say I'll just add a USB cable okay so I'll just add here above I'll just add USB cable okay and uh, let's say I want uh, one meter length okay so I'll just uh, copy this one meter okay I'll just copy one meter only okay now let's press shift enter shift enter and as you can see for our input uh, text we got similar products right so this is the magic of using cosine similarity so based on our input uh, we are only getting the product name if you want to print other things then you can do but I am just uh, considering product name in, in the output for our input product so this is the thing which we are getting you can do whatever you need right uh, but this was the basic and simple introduction how we can create a similarity search for our input product uh, description and other metadata right to uh, to get the similar products okay so i hope you understood the thing if you did then please do subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye